Hello there, everyone out there on YouTube and Ship Fanatics and all of my subscribers. This is everyone's favorite jack of all trades with the foul mouth, Commander Urban. And uh, yes, I have found the hat and I put the hat back on. For all you old school viewers, you guys can probably remember I wore this hat quite a bit back in the day. But because it got really, really small, I quit wearing it because it hurt. And it's hurting my head uh, right now. But I figured I'd wear it for this, um, for this start for this project for you guys. And yeah, yeah, and check out my uh, Jack Skellington shirt. Um, my sister got that for me. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Uh, what are we looking at here, guys? This here is a President's Liner. Luxury Liner President Wilson model kit by uh, Lindbergh, part of their Lindbergh Classic series. Now you probably wonder why the fuck are we looking at this thing? We've already did an inbox review. Well, the reason why this is going to be the next fucking project, guys, because I got done with the Lusitania a few days past, and I was like, I'm fucking bored again. So I went through my model stash. My model stash being my big stack of models that I have sitting in my closet. I figured, let's give this thing a go. So, without any further ado, let's take a look at it and I'm going to explain what I'm going to do. So, like I said, here's the box. Very um, basic and straightforward. Shows a picture of the liner on the front. And it has all this information. And yes, this model is 1988, so this is a pretty old kit. But I actually found out this model kit originally was made in the 1950s by Pyro. And it had several different reboxings. And then uh, Lifelike uh, got a hold of the dies and made the kit for a short time. And then Lindbergh got a hold of it. And Lindbergh still produces this model today. But Lindbergh is part of the Round 2 Corporation out of South Bend, Indiana. So, but when I got this kit from a good friend of mine, it was missing some shit. So I had to look up the numbers for the new kit, and I had to tell, I had to get a hold of some parts from the company that now produces the kit. And here is everything that I've got. So, here's a, and if you're wondering why there's some doubles of shit, when I put in the um, the replacement parts, somehow they fucked it up and gave me two of the following things. They they gave me two of these instead of one, two of the wheelhouse tops instead of one. Um, they gave me two of these funnels and two of these funnels. Well, it doesn't fucking bother me. Uh, I mean, I got extra, so fucking what? Oh, and the decals. I got two sets of decals. So. Actually, more than that, because see, there's actually two of them in each thing. So, see, there's two of them in each baggie, which is kind of weird. But also, I have some of the original decals, too, right here. And see, look, President Cleveland and President Wilson. The new ones just do President Wilson. Now, here is the instruction book. You can see this. You can see how this thing is put together. See, this is how the this is how the vessel is put together. It's not fucking complicated at all. It's very basic, straightforward shit. Anyway, I did some research in these two books: the Great Luxury Liners, 1927 and 1954, and Great cruise ships and ocean liners from 1954 to 1986. So in this first book, I can find it again. Um, right here. Here's a picture of the Wilson. This is a picture of the President Wilson. It's a very nice ship, very attractive looking ship. But one problem. What the hell is the colors of it? Because I tried and I tried and I tried to find fucking color photos of this ship. And I can't hardly find any. Especially good detailed ones that can show me 
all the details up in here, like what color are the boats and what color are the uh, the mast and the derricks and what's the actual shade of gray on this hull? I know this is gray, and there's actually a stripe between the white and the gray right here. You can kind of see it's a real dark line. But what color? What color was that? And see, there's red too. See down there, that's red. I know that's red because the bottom of all ships are basically red. And here's the history on the Wilson. It says the passenger run on the Pacific did not revive as quickly as that on the Atlantic. However, American President Lines of San Francisco took a great step in 1947 and 48 by commissioning the sister ships President Cleveland and President Wilson. There's the Wilson. The pair reopened something of the pre-war service from San Francisco to Honolulu, Yokohama, Kobe, Hong Kong, and Manlia. And they were built by Beth Bethlehem Almanda Shipyards in Al Almeida, California, 1948. 15,359 gross tons, 609 feet long, 75 feet wide, steam turbo electric engines geared to twin screw, service speed 19 knots. 778 passengers, 324 first class, and 454 tourists. That's what that book says. Now this book, if I can find it, says last of the great block. Um, right here. Here's a picture of the Cleveland. And that is an actual photograph of the President Cleveland. And once again, I mean, it's a detailed picture. Problem is, I wish it was in fucking color so I can tell what all this shit was. You know, that's the only problem I've got. And here's a little bit of history on it. President Cleveland, the American President Lines in San Francisco, closed their passenger cruise division in 1972. Suddenly, regular liner service across the Pacific ceased. Therefore, only the occasional cruise ship would make the journey. The final President Liners, the Cleveland, seen here, and her sister, the President Wilson, lowered their American flag colors and were sold to Taiwanian shipper C. Y. Tung for conversion to cruise ships. And she was built by Bethlehem Almeida Shipyard, Incorporated Almeida, California, 1947. So if she was built in 47 and Wilson was built in 48, the Cleveland was the first ship. See, she was 18,962 gross tons, 609 feet long, 75 feet wide, 30 foot draft, steam turbo electric engines, twin screw, service speed, 20 knots. In 1972, she carried 511 first class passengers only. So if she was built in 1947, that means that she was first and President Wilson was second. So this model, this kit here, I'm going to build as the Cleveland. Since I have the original decals to do the Cleveland, I'm going to do the Cleveland. I think. I don't know, guys. You guys tell me. You guys tell me if it's true. Which one? Which one of the two sisters was built first? Was it the Wilson or was it the Cleveland? Because I don't know. Because I, I, I would, I would think, I would think William H. Miller Jr. Bill Miller. I would think he know what the hell he was talking about when he wrote them books. Because he is, after all, Mr. Ocean Liner. You know, he would know. He would know what he was talking about. But you guys let me know. See, there's the hull. I put it together. The hull's put together already. And the rudder's in place. That's done. It's all sealed up and stuff. See, I can show you. See, there's no really no cracks in it. It's all nice and sealed up. So when I get this thing to float in the water, it won't leak and sink. And the only thing that's actually done, done, is the base. That looks really good. I made it look like the old, uh, the old American President line logo, with the white eagle and the red background. So yeah, cause see, white eagle, red background. Those are the bands for the funnels. So yeah, there it is, guys. That is the. Uh, that's gonna be my project. Is going to be the American President Liner. It's either going to be the Wilson or the Cleveland. I'm not really sure which one was built first. So, one more time before we leave, I'll show you guys the box. And right there is the box, guys. And yes, this is incorrect. Because uh, if you've seen in the picture, the gray was not that low. 
the gray actually was right from right here and ran uh, through here. So this row of portholes was actually in the gray area. So this, whoever built this model and painted, they fucked it up. They really fucked it up. So, yeah. <laughs> yes, I took the hat off. It was hurting my head. It was giving me a fucking headache, so I had to take it off. So, yeah. I hope you guys will stay tuned for the for the update videos on this thing as I build it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, or if you have any pictures or anything you guys like to maybe show me of this, like color pictures of these ships, that would be really appreciative. That would really help me out a lot. Especially pictures on the on-deck features. That would help. So, until next time, this is Commodore Urban. Oh yeah, and if you're new to the channel, and you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. You'll never miss one of my videos and become part of the Commodore's crew. So, this is I, the Jack of All Trades, with the foul mouth, Commodore Urban, saying have smooth seas and clear skies. Happy sailing with you, and God bless. You have a great day now. Bye-bye.